this is Sherri Ann Richardson from experimentalhomesteader.com coming to you live tonight from my craft room. Um, this is my Union 36 loom right here. It is a floor loom. Let me see if I can spin the camera so you can get a better look. And I have been working on weaving this scarf. Um, I haven't gotten very far. I'm, I'm kind of slow about getting this done and this room doesn't have heat so it's not the best room to be in in the winter time um, but spring is coming again and so I'll get a chance to work on this again and looking forward to that because I really like being up in this room um, it lets me be a little more creative and I can make a mess and I don't have to clean it up because um, it is just my room for crafts um, Tonight on our daily vlog, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I have some reader questions, and I have about 10 of these, and I thought I would answer them. And I would also like to encourage you to subscribe to our channel. Um, the little subscribe button is right up there, so all you have to do is click it, and you'll be subscribed. You can choose if you want notifications. There's a little cog wheel uh, that will come up by the subscribe button on my home page and you can just click it and tell it if you want notifications if you don't do that you won't get notifications so um, the other thing I would like to encourage you is leave me some questions in the comment box below um, this is going to be for my next uh, question vlog I'm going to try to do about one of these a month but depending on the number of questions we may end up doing more because I feel like I should only take about 10 questions at once. So leave those in the comments below. Um, because I do read those. And I'll pick 10 of them. And it'll be for the next question vlog. Which like I said will be in about a month. Um, maybe sooner. Depending on what kind of response I get. So I'm going to set this up here. Um, because I just. I just thought of move. And I didn't really want that to happen. Because um, I need this to stay, stay tight. So I'm going to have to definitely tighten it up before I can work with it. But in the first question, uh, who is your favorite author? Um, I would say V.C. Andrews, although I don't like a lot of the stuff that has come out after she has passed away. Um, so with that, I also want to say Agatha Christie. So definitely um, a toss-up between the two. Okay. Um, what do people do that annoys you the most? You know, bullying and hatefulness absolutely annoy me. Um, if you can't say something nice, just shut up and don't say anything. So that's that's my take on that. Um, what bucket list item do you hope to accomplish this year and in the next five years? Uh, for this year, I would like to see my YouTube subscribers grow to at least 5,000. I would like to see that by the end of this year. And within the next five years, I would like to get my home and my vehicles paid off, so I'm out of debt. Um, that would just really make me happy. Um, have you been to the movies in the past five days? <laughs> this is funny. Um, I don't think I've been to the movies in the past five years that I can remember. Um, I don't go to movies. I feel like they're a waste of money. Um... And I'm just not a TV or a movie person. I, I'm really not. So um, I feel like that $20 that I would spend to go to the movie could be better used on food or things that I needed versus something I really don't need. Um, what was the last thing you had to drink? Iced tea. I've been drinking iced tea all day. Um, I had an icy Sprite this morning, but the sugar kind of upset my stomach, so I switched to tea. Um, what are your plans for tonight? <laughs> My plans are the same every night. I work. I work from the time I get up to the time I go to bed and um, really don't do anything else. Um, there isn't time by the time I get my work done. So, do I collect anything? Um, I collect a lot of things. Um, I love fabric and pretty colored yarn, uh, craft items. Um, I love seeds and plants. So that, that would be probably my number one thing. Um, 
Are you someone's best friend? No. Um, I've had two best friends in my life. One was a female, uh, one was a male. They were both in elementary school. The female got caught smoking by her parents, and because she didn't want to get in trouble, she blamed it on me. Uh, we were immediately told we could no longer be friends, and I got my butt busted good by my parents. Um, I was not very happy because I didn't smoke, and it wasn't my fault. It was just her way of getting out of trouble. So that kind of did me in on the friend thing. Um, and then I had a guy that was a best friend. Um, like I said, this was elementary school. And his thing was, especially as we got older, he didn't want to be seen with me. We could be friends, but it had to be after school and at one of our houses, and nobody could really know. And so, um, no. I'm not someone's best friend. I don't have a best friend. Um, would I like to have one? Yeah. I, I wish I could find a friend that I had things in common with because it is lonely. On the other hand, I don't need someone stabbing me in the back. I've had that happen twice. So, Are you rich? <laughs> I thought... You know, people think that, especially when they see that I've had two major book contracts. Um, I'm far from rich. We live paycheck to paycheck, just like the majority of people. And um, sometimes there's not enough money to go around, you know, and we just, we deal with it. I mean, we do the best we can. So, um, just like everybody else, you know, we all have our struggles. Um... And you just make the best of it you can. So sometimes I get depressed about it. And, you know, I wonder how some people do so good and some people do so bad. And I have family that tell me just how frivolous I am all the time and how I should have lots of money in the bank by now. And the only thing I can say to that is when your paycheck barely covers the bills and we're talking housing and utilities and vehicle, I don't know how you're supposed to do better. Um, so, you know, and I think there's a lot of people in that boat. So, okay. And what was I doing at 12 a.m. last night? <laughs> um, I was working, as I usually do. Um, I seriously work from the time I get up, which is sometime between 10 and 11 in the morning, till 2 or 3 the following morning. Um... I usually eat my meals at my computer and um, usually work while I'm cooking my meals. So um, it's just, it's what I do. 12 to 14 hours a day, sometimes more, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Um, you know, trying to get ahead in this game of life and sometimes I feel like I'm really failing at it. So, but anyway, that was 10 questions from our readers. So thank you guys for sending those in. Um, I know I didn't call names out on who did that. Um, eventually, maybe I will. So if you have questions, uh, comments, leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, some thumbs up would be great. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys, and have a great night. I'll see you back here tomorrow with another daily vlog.